Welcome back guys and uh, today we are here with another video and we are going to be playing I noticed recently I've been playing like if you look at my like, last four decks they've all been fairly aggro so I thought hey let's go to the other end of the spectrum and let's bring out a ramp deck so we're going to play a green red ramp which got a couple new toys in the expansion uh, mostly on the on the top end <laughs> but uh, you know it's it's a, it's I'd say it got more fun now the deck before was fairly straightforward but uh, a lot of the new cards which have run which have been fairly interesting but I mean I've, I've covered ramps so many so many times on this channel I'm going to kind of ignore all the all the obvious cards like I'm not going to talk about Jody, uh, Jody Offshoot or uh, you know Death Cap Cult Vist, stuff like that I'll just go over the over the newer cards uh, because I think this is actually identical to my last list except I've, I've substituted a couple of the the bombs out and etc etc and I now run a reclamation stage I guess but some of the new cards we have is we have new Chandra in the deck. She's obviously fantastic because she's a removal spell. She also ramps, and she yeah, helps you dig for your, your big creatures as well. So she, she pretty much she really likes this. Like she belongs in this deck essentially. Uh, it's really nice being able to play her turn four and then ramp into a seven drop, etc. On air turn on turn five, which is pretty brutal. And again, even even worst case scenario, she's she's gonna buy you some time because they're gonna have to focus focus on killing her. Which is always a good thing, and uh, yeah, so that she's she's a new toy, obviously. <laughs> and uh, first time I'm using new Nissa, I've never actually cast her yet, but there was uh, some rumblings on the forums, people people saying how oh, she was better than new Chandra and etc etc. But I, I doubt that. But who knows? Maybe maybe we'll find out. Obviously, her emblem in this deck seems pretty bu busted, seeing as we're a ramp deck. But uh, I mean, most of the time, even just plus and one and getting a a five five haste slash blocker if you need it isn't too terrible. And uh, yeah, so she's a uh, she's nice, like sort of mid game, you know, when you're trying to step, like not you're not into your super powerful bombs yet, but you know also past like fiery impulse and creatures. She's a nice drop to have, and uh, also the new the funnest card in the, the funnest card in the deck by far, uh, combustible gear hook. This thing is hilarious because either you draw three cards, which is the boring option, but hey, drawing three cards isn't terrible on a six six first strike for six. Or they can get hit for a hell of a lot in this deck. You take damage equal to the three cards you put in your graveyard, and well, I mean we're a ramp deck. Look at all the look at this top end. <laughs> uh, granted, I've cast it twice so far, and I've hit for zero, and then I hit for two. So I'm a bit, I'm a little bit sorry. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but uh, eventually, you know, I, I saw on a uh, bounce burn buff. Uh, you, you guys know him, uh, BBB. He. I think on stream he managed to hit for like 18 or 19. <laughs> he hit like an Ulamog and like a 5 drop and a 3 drop or something which was disgusting. So I'm going to try and replicate that today. And then uh, apart from that the deck is again just pretty similar except we have Aether Hub as well. And I suppose I did forget about one card which we'll go back to here where is it? Harness Lightning. As you can see I've re I'm kind of tilting my deck a lot more defensively now like before you could get away with running like less less hedges against aggro but because aggro is so strong now like I'm in four fire impulse two harness lightnings all the sweepers etc etc because I think aggro is the the biggest threat to this kind of deck but uh, yeah so that's that's what we're rolling with now and uh, we'll try and find some matches with it uh, for those of you who want to keep it with the steam showdown there's a bit of uh, interesting update to that basically I I'm not I don't want to uh, how can I not how can I say this odds ball in the result but uh I'm gonna talk about the results, so if you if you don't hear it, just skip like the next 30 seconds. But basically, I lost. Even though I lost 2-1, uh, coexists recording corrupted, so I get he gets a game loss, which means we are now tied at two and two, which means we actually draw the round, which is kind of the first time in the Steam Showdown. So basically, the result is slightly improved for me. I mean, a draw is obviously better than a loss, so take that as you will. It'll be interesting going to the next round. Just a little update, but uh. Yeah, now we're into the game. I, I'm so tempted to keep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep. I, I don't like it. I'm gonna keep. Uh, sleep with basic mountain. Uh, like if we draw a ramp spell, this hand's fantastic. If we draw two drop, I mean, there's 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 more good draws than bad draws. I don't know. The man is good, and uh, we have one removal spell by his time. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be much, too much more fussy. But uh, you know what happens? Keep a five lander. There's only gonna be one card off the top of your deck, and it uh, rhymes with uh, mountain. <laughs> I'm fuck. I fucked that up. <laughs> it rhymes with Lauten as well as meant to say or something like that. But I don't know. I'll we'll get that up. And yep. Okay. There's two more lands off the top. <laughs> 
Okay, so I mean, worst case scenario, we just play a turn 5 Nissa. We just stare at each other until I play a turn 5 Nissa. I mean, uh, things have looked worse. Uh, okay, it looks like that's actually what's happening. It's, I mean, I guess I'm okay with that. Hey, second fire impulse, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is truly thrilling magic, truly top top tier stuff. Like I said, this format is so fast and punishing, you, you can't get away with doing nothing. And he misses a lot of drops. <laughs> okay, he's discarding. We'll get, at least we'll get to see what's in his hand. Uh, Radiant Flames, well that is a good discard for you right there my friend. Uh, this is Blitz in the Glid. Nissa, do we hit him for 5? That's a real question. Uh, why not? Why not? Just untap a random line, I don't even know what that is. I mean, he could, what could he have? Blessed Alliance? Do I even play around Blessed Alliance? Nah, I'm not going to play around it. I'd rather get it out of his hand now. Hey, yeah. I'd rather get it out of his hand now than uh Because, like, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm in front here. I've got the Nissa. I can ultimate next turn. If he has to draw a land just to even be able to take it down with Shamble events. He gets, gets a good anguish on Macon, but he would have done that before, right? Yeah. So... I need to enjoy the one, so we're just going to ultimate Nissa here. This is going to clearly going to be a... We could even wait one more turn, but I don't want to get blown up by Anguish and Macon. So, uh, see what we draw. Yeah, definitely, we're flooding out, so... I'm just going to ultimate Nissa now, and then, uh... Because this is going to clearly going to be a grinding game, so I might as well... Draw an extra card a turn, because we are flooding a bit here. Yes, I would love to use this ability. Hardest Lightning. Okay. So, if you activate Shaman Inventor, so we have no shortage of removal spells. And like I said, we're drawing two cards a turn now, it's going to be very hard for us to lose. And if he's going to tap out for Nissa, we just get to go. Bang! So, I mean, I don't really know what his deck's doing, but I'm assuming like Absan midrange, or whatever it is, 4 color midrange. 5 color midrange? No, yeah, 5 color midrange it looks like, but uh, I think I'm favoured here just because I've got the Nissa emblem out. Eventually I'll draw into a bomb like that. Get the harness light. Um, get the aether hub out now because we have harness lightning in hand. I'm gonna draw a card. Yes, please. There's an explosive vegetation. But let's try and hit him. He's on 20. Does he give us three cards or not? I hope he does. I hope we just hit Ulamog and blow him out. Come on, give us. Come on. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We've already flooded out. We've already flooded out. Come on, take the damage. You know you want to. You're on 20. What's the worst that could happen? That's the question, my friend. Oh, I would have only hit him for eight. Only, I guess, but... I mean, I'm fine with that, you just give us three cards. <laughs> uh, we are definitely very, very unlikely to lose this game at this point. Uh, I'm jinxing myself, obviously, I'm getting cocky, but... I mean, Arlen Court's a scary creature here, but she's not going to do anything against this monstrosity you've ever bought, I've, I've assembled. We're just drawing so many cards, like, she's... Um, Arlen's already dead. <laughs> and, uh... Play our land first. We're just gonna play out Chandra and then just try and kill him here. I don't even think we can empty our hand fast enough to be brutal. Hopefully this yeah. see look, this is this is the fantastic part of Aether Hub if you look at the way it's tapping the mana. Always likes to leave Aether Hub open when so it likes to use your energy for no reason. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. Try and get the max amount of damage and then what's Chandra. I mean granted our opponent missed a land drop and didn't do anything for like the first three turns, but I don't know. Things things have looked worse in the uh, in the night talk down. I love ramp. I think ramp is my favorite. Uh, we'll play this one out. Uh, I think ramp is my favorite archetype in general. Play like I'm not really fussy. Like I'll play anything. I'll even play control. But uh, I don't know. I think if you if you put gun in my head and say you can only play one type of deck for the rest of the of all time, I'd probably say ramp. But uh, collective effort that kills. Now if we draw Green Warden and Marasa, we can just... <laughs> okay, is there any way we can kill our opponent here? I don't think so. Uh, we can take him... Um... Taking him five. I guess if we do Rolling Thunder, we could have killed him. That would have been nice. Uh, bang. And then I'm just going to get Woodland Bellower out. I shouldn't have played my land first, I guess, because I could have got Tireless Tracker, but... Eh. I'm not too fussy. See, look at that again. I wasn't paying attention. Get screwed by mana screw. But uh, I don't think it's going to matter here, to be brutally honest. Uh, what card do we want? Just get just get Dustwatch Recruiter, I think. And uh, pass the turn back. Keep up Harness Lightning just because he's got Shaman events, etc. But, uh. 
I don't know. My opponent's deck is clearly the 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 planeswalker deck, but I don't know. He just never really got going. The mana base is always shaky on that kind of deck. Like he's only he's, he's only offering one blue, etc., etc. But uh, I don't know. It's gonna take an unusual amount of removal here from our opponent to survive. I think he's facing like a lot. <laughs> Plus for removal spells, he can't even activate Charm Events. The AI doesn't even go for it. The AI's just had enough. <laughs> But yeah, that was a decisive win. Like Nissa Emblem did so much for us there. As soon as like in that in that kind of matchup, as soon as Nissa ultimates, it's very very hard for a deck like when two slow decks go against each other like that. It's just very hard for the other deck to compete with that amount of card draw. But uh, jump into another one. So yeah, new Nissa there. I mean, I guess she did. She was pretty nice to be fair in that ramp deck. Although she she did get a land eaten straight away, which is kind of sad, but uh, I don't know. Ob obviously she's going to be good because she's a planeswalker. <laughs> but I don't know. I think if I think if I could only run her or New Chandra, I think I'd still only run New Chandra. That's not uh, that's not saying Newness is bad. I think New, New Chandra is just better. And we're now playing Dard. We are only rank thirty, so I mean people might look down on me for not being forty yet, but this guy doesn't have card sleeve, so who's the real winner? <laughs> this is an interesting curve actually, this could be like, well I was going to say this could be a green green aggro deck but um, I don't think too many of them lead with turn 1 Jardy offshoot but I don't know, I like just watch Recruiter as a 2 of just because late game you can start like really sinking all your mana into it and then early game you can like accelerate out of Woodland Bella or whatever. I don't think I'd run all 3 but I've always liked it as a 2 of in this sort of deck. And. Uh, Let's see if we can play a ramp game without actually playing a single ramp spell, because that was game one, we didn't even play one of the mixed lots of vegetations. And uh, game two, we don't have another one here, although I would love to rip Anissa's Pilgrimage off the top. And if he doesn't play a spell, we just watch flips, we get Tyler Track and get a clue on the same turn. So, uh, things have looked better, I mean, things have looked worse for me on turn two of a game, and it looks like we might get away with this. I doubt he's going to have a play for one white or one black, and it doesn't look like he does, so yeah. Really good start for us here, we get to start grinding out advantage. Uh, so we get our clue, we get our life gain, he can't kill us here, we get even get him, even get him for three, which is not terrible. Like, we could be, we could be beat down here, <laughs> our opponent kind of needs to answer our board. I mean, worst case scenario. I mean, best case scenario for him, if you if you can't answer our board, is we're gonna get a bunch of clues. Worst case, he's just gonna die in like three turns. We could sacrifice a couple of clues, him. Yeah, we got like a three turn clock on him if we really went all in. But I mean, I doubt it. Especially against Orzov, he's definitely gonna be running Languish and uh, Radiant, not Radiant Flames, uh, Grasp of Darkness. So, uh, and he doesn't. This opponent hasn't missed a land drop yet. Three. Ma if he tells off for read the bones, I will be over the moon because we just get to crush him here. It's a tough target. What does he go for? I think that's the right decision. Uh, like if he's running anguish for me, and he's almost. Well, we even get a clue out of that, so it's not even like, all peachy for him. And we get to sacrifice two clues and step. Yeah, could we sacrifice a clue now? Uh, what could we draw? Uh, Four mana. I guess we could draw another Dust Watch uh, or or Jardy Offshoot. So I guess we sacrifice one clue now, and then uh, we'll keep the second one in reserve just for end step. Uh, but we get to get turn five Woodland Bell over here if he doesn't remove Carl and Hotala. And even if he does, I mean I'm 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 relatively fine with a slow late game here. I mean we run four. For fiery impulse and stuff here. Did he play his land before playing the uh, Talus Tracker? I really wish I could punish him here. <laughs> uh, alas, Kozilek's like Return is actually looking pretty good. I might just cast that now. Kozilek's uh, like Return into Sylvan Advocate. I mean, I think that's. I, I mean, I've, I've got to punish him. It's. Just, I mean, I could play a turn five Wooden Bell, but I've got to punish him for uh, playing the land before the Talus Tracker. So I think it's it's a matter of principle that I have to do with this where. Sorry, my friend. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's probably not even right to do it this way, to be brutally honest. But uh, especially not because if he has like a grasp of darkness, he can kill Sylvan Advocate. Or if he just languishes me here, 
but uh, I mean, it's like I said, it's a matter of principle. It wasn't, it wasn't my choice. I wish, I wish I didn't have to punish him. By the way, a one mana silver and advocate that seems pretty fair. I mean, look, he's on eleven. <laughs> we're, we're not many of your beat down deck. <laughs> we're just, we're just hammering him here. Uh, obviously, like I said, he goes languish, and then we just follow up with it. Wooden Bell with follow up. Which is, I mean, as far as cards go, Wooden Bell is a pretty nice follow up. And I guess actually doing it this way allows me to cast Wooden and Bellower, fetch up the other Tyler's Tracker and play a land. So it might actually be better to do it this way. And uh, does he have Death Touch yet? Three card types. So he could, if he plays an instant, it would get Death Touch. But uh, I'm fine with that. Oh, it does what flipped over, so we can't do it that way. Never mind. Uh, might as well. Ooh, I should have played my land first, because now Sylvan Advocate's small. I'm really playing sloppy recently. I haven't been playing too much duels to be brutally honest. I eh, yeah, the anguish I'm making anyway. So he's down to eight. <laughs> and uh we get a pretty good follow up here. You know what, I guess we've got we've got a green warden of Marasa as well, so like I said, it's good to get the exile removal out of his hand. What do we want to grab here? I think we just get the other Sylvan Advocate. If he's playing a black deck, like I said, Grasp of Darkness. Etc. Etc. So five toughness creatures are probably is the way to go. And like I said, that's a two turn clock as well. I mean, a one turn clock. He needs an answer. Well, I guess he could use Chamber Man. Well, that's as far as uh, his turn six plays go. That's a pretty good one. Looks like we might be staring at each other with <laughs> a six five and a four five into each other. Yep. But I'm gonna stay, I'm, I'm gonna stay aggressive. Yeah, I've got the Green Warden Brass and to get my Wooden Bellow back. I can't attack with the 4-5 because he just eats it with the Wooden Bellower. If he wants to trade off green, uh, yeah, I'll take this trade because then I'll just get mine straight back. And the, and the, and the, uh, the good thing about doing it this way as well is that, like like I said, that play I said before with getting the tire track and then playing the land, we can just do that. Uh, we can just do that next turn now, so. But I mean, he is stabilizing a bit. Like I said, this game is not over yet, especially now. <laughs> uh, yeah, mission abort. Let's put it that way. So we are just playing this huge grindy value game here, but. Uh, I mean, this bo this board's gonna get messy fast. Really, is gonna get messy fast. Uh, as if it wasn't already messy, but. Uh, I don't even think any of us have particularly good attacks here. Uh, and we are flooding out pretty badly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, an Ulamog would break through, what else? If we just keep drawing lands, eventually we'll draw one of Rolling Thunder to get through. Uh, so. And we've got our other value engine going on here. We've got 27 life. Do we attack with Green Warden? What do we, we get to back Dust Watch would actually be pretty good, so I might, I'm just gonna crunch in here with this thing. Trade. I mean, it was to trade off with one of his creatures. Uh, two of his. Yeah, one of his creatures actually. Like he, I'll trade. I'll trade off a t with a Talus Tracker. But he, he is called Wooden Bellower, so he must have another thingy. I'm guessing. Another uh, Reanimator spell. Yeah, I was going to play it out now. Uh, it's risky if he has a Languish. But uh, if he has a Languish, then... I mean, I still have two 5 swiftness creatures. He only has one. And uh, like I said, I can start just really digging. Digging through my deck next turn. I can activate like three times, which is pretty good. Uh, new Shando would punch through as well. I mean, old Shando would punch through. Mind you, he like I said, he's he's drawn more cards now with the clues. So, but he's on eight life. So, but he does have a shambling event. So many, so many things going through my head. So little time. Uh, oh, that's got delirium now, doesn't it? Yeah. So he's got death touches. So we're just really locked up along the ground. Eventually, I'll draw Ulamog though and be able to punch through. 
I mean, like I said, we've got so much card draw going on, it's only it's only a matter of time until we draw the mug. And that is not a particularly good drop now. So I'll just happily get rid of this one drop that's gained me seven life. And is uh, outmatched by everything on the field. <laughs> so, uh, fire impulses. Do we have spell mastery? We do not, which is kind of unfortunate. Sacrifice a clue first. Another offshoot. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we might as well actually. We we lose six. We go down to five. Yeah, I like this. I like this line. Gives us protection from a second flesh bag if he has it, and then we get to go. Sacrifice another clue, and then we get still get a dust watch activation. And uh, we're ripping through our deck here. Eventually, we'll draw something good. Okay, so now we can. We have one instant. Okay, yeah. So we get to go. I think we go. While he's tapped out, we go on you. And then on you. And then I think we just have lethal here, don't we? Uh, so he blocks six, then five, and he'll take six. He has to, he has to double jump, I think, so. Yeah. Let's just get aggressive here. You don't think you can. I don't think he can block. So six, five. Yeah, he has to block the two biggest creatures. So, uh, yeah, that worked out okay for us. I'm, I'm trying to figure out the maths. Yeah, yeah, he, he has to block like that. And then that means we we have the board. He's down to two life. Granted, we've got no cards in hand. If he has a planar outburst here, just we are actually relatively in trouble. And by relatively, I mean a lot. <laughs> but uh, who knows? Maybe he doesn't have it. You know, maybe once, maybe once, they just don't play an outburst me or tragic arrogance me. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I've. I'm happy he did that. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lethal clock. It's a great top deck. I'm fine. <laughs> We don't even have Delirium. Don't have a good follow-up. Don't go Linvala, please. <laughs> we haven't- we've only drawn- well, we've actually drawn two bombs. I can't even get Salty- <laughs> God, not like this. <laughs> Nissa off the top, please. <laughs> I've, I've, I've done nothing but shit on you, Nissa, but she would be really good here. <laughs> New Chandra's- I'm old Chandra as well, please. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we play out the land. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. We're gonna flood out and we're gonna lose. We haven't even drawn. I mean, there's so many ram spells we could draw into as well. It's not even. It's not even bad. For, like, he starts cracking into Shamblin vents. We're just really up against it here. But we do have top decks. I mean, I guarantee Reclamation Sage is gonna be our next draw. It's just a fact of life. It's terrible in this matchup, therefore, it's gonna be in the top 20 card. <laughs> <laughs> Stick calm. He's gonna get back. Uh, wooden bellower, isn't he? Yep. At least he can't cast it this turn. <laughs> but yeah, we. I think we are in in Ulmago burst range. But it's it's in our deck. It's all you can ask for. <laughs> yeah. This is this is looking grim, to say the least. Uh, Mission of where did we go wrong? The planar outburst is where we went wrong. I guess we could have not went all in with the fiery impulse plan. I don't know. I, I stand by what I did. Uh, he was playing creatures out. He had a white board. He, I, I didn't have any assumption to think he had planar outburst. So he hadn't played a single sweeper before. Normally they run languish, etc., etc. And there's a grasp of darkness. So yeah. But we are on a basically a two turn clock. Oh, yep, there's more life gain. <laughs> uh, yeah, we need a good top deck. We drawn two lands off the top. Make it three. Oh, you just ask, ask, and you shall receive. Good top deck. Perfect. 
never wanted a better card. Uh, uh, <laughs> stay calm. Like I said, like new Chandra Nissa might be not be lethal anymore, but you know, there's there's still hope. Things things could go our way. New 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 Lamog off the top. This thing's what is what is this thing ultimate on? Minus nine. So we don't even have to kill Soren. I've never I've never felt better. And this thing only gains him the highest life total among players. Oh, never mind, it gains him. Well, it's going to gain him significantly less than 26 vampires. Uh, even after it's shot, yep, more life gain. Yeah, this game's over now. Uh, we had like two turns to top deck, and we drew two lands and a fiery impulse. So, uh, can we make it three lands? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead on board. Whoosh. Where did it go wrong? The Ever After was just an absolute hammer blow there. I thought I could grind him out, but it was I who was ground ground out. But uh, yeah, I mean the turn we lost that was a planar outburst. Uh, guess we could have kept Dust Watch in our hand, or we could have like not went all in Fire Impulse and could activate it like once or maybe twice. But uh, I don't know. I put him on a you must have a board wipe, or you lose, and it must be planar outburst or tragic arrogance. So I stand by my play. I stand by my play, and uh, I say that with a little hint of tears in my eyes. But luckily, there's no face cam, so uh, yeah. And then we weren't even out of it. Like I said, there was like a turn we could have top deck Nissa or Chandra. And then there was a turn we could have done or Rolling Thunder. And there was another turn we could have done that, and then it was just out of reach. The third, when there was a the Fire Impulse turn. That was the the turnaround. That was all four Fire Impulses, though, wasn't it? Or three out of four. Would be great in some matchups. Unfortunately, this was not one of them. Uh, hopefully, we can redeem ourselves with a nice two-one victory versus Amphidisfus. That's our opponent. Let's see if we can get end things on rank thirty. Uh, this hand's good. This hand's really good, actually. Ba Bang! Get to go dust watch into Mrs. Pilgrimage and then turn four Woodland Bellower. That's pretty good. As long as, well, that's like assuming no disruption, and against red white, you could have so much removal as well. I'm not gonna spend time. Uh, ooh, okay, that's just so much better. Turn three, excellent. Like this is this is what I love about ramp. We could potentially have a turn five Ulamog here if we drew correctly. If you go, because like, well, all you need to go is go death cap into turn three explosive vegetation, turn four explosive vegetation, turn five Ulamog, which I nearly did in my tournament match. Believe it or not, uh, if you go go back to watch against bounce burn buff. I could have had a turn 5 Ulamog, except unfortunately I didn't draw a land, so... I I only, I only got a turn 6 Ulamog, it was terrible, I don't think I'd ever forgive myself, but uh, yeah, let's get a turn... Like I said, turn 4. No, red, red. Let's go for a turn 4. Woodland Bellow, that seems pretty good, seems pretty fair on the play. You can't even interact with it now, that's the worst thing, like, even if you killed... This is this guy's playing Legends deck. We run three sweepers in the deck, and we're going to stabilize fairly okay here, as long as he doesn't go nuts with Var and Akros, But uh, only getting hit for three here, and then we're going to put we're just going to put a roadblock down on him next turn. You can attack with the one one in the air really, and uh, even Valor and Akros, like if he taps up for Valor and Akros, one two three four five six. So yeah, we got to go do this where I think. I don't. We, I'm not. I'm not planning on blocking with Death Cap Clover anyway, so we got to go. Gain an extra life, you know, life gain's always nice. And now we will roadblock with the. So if he's playing Legend deck, I could like f f realize he doesn't run too much removal and just grab a Tyler's Tracker here, but I don't know, I like a 4 5 Vigilance. Nice and fair. And then we're gonna gain like 3 life next turn with this, and then we're just gonna be playing off the top of our deck. We've already thinned out quite a bit, so. Just need one more bomb or a sweeper to. And Chandra as well is another good. We'll wreck this opponent. So. Well, it's a, I mean, we can just keep, like, the 4-5 Vigilance, eventually, we, we can almost outrace him here, I think. Uh, well, not really out. well, I mean, he's, he's hitting us for 2 and we're gaining 2 back next turn, so, I guess. <laughs> okay. So I think the plan we do need to do it for three, unfortunately. This you can't tap for any colour, yeah. So we can do it for three. 
So that means we'll get our attacks in first. And if the best thing here is if he blocks the... Ooh, actually we can't do it that way. We can. Yeah, we can, because he'd have to like... He'd have to double block, and if he double blocks then he's, he's cheating. But uh, yeah. The best thing here is if he blocks the death cap cut a little bit with one of the 1-3s, then yeah, we don't need... I mean, yeah, actually never mind, we still have to do it for three. But... Okay, so we go. Yeah, I mean we lose our job. Okay, actually no, we'll do it the right way then, won't we? Make sure just yeah. Okay, we'll we'll just try and get a sequence in right here. Bang bang. Get a life gain because you never know it could come in handy, and that will just loop the board. We have to do it for three because Doctor Engineers. But, I mean, overall, I, I'll take that trade. <laughs> uh, he's, he's dead next turn, if, and if he... So yeah, that was just... Legend's deck did not do too well against the Sweeper, that's... I mean, I'm sure he's, he knew that. <laughs> he knew that going into it, especially without a Selfless Spirit. And it's not even Legend's deck by that card, but I mean, come on. You, can, you, can, you can't blame me for thinking it was Legend's deck with a curve like that. Uh, but he has to jump. Ooh, Collective Echo, okay, never mind. That was a pretty good draw from. Well, whatever, whatever it was, that was a pretty good card from. Gets to kill Aku. He taps us and he puts a counter on his creature, yeah. But eventually we'll. I mean, still got some lethal threats. Come on, why? Like, people give me shit in the last. when I ran ramp in the last tournament because I only ran 23 lands, but you can see why. Last two games, I've just been in situations where I just need a bomb and I just don't draw into it. Uh, I'm not even going to play this land. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I should play this land now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so we have a little mug now. Uh, uh, but it's, it's a tough one because you, you've got to balance it between having Tireless Tracker lands. Maybe I should have grabbed Tireless Tracker instead of Sylvan Advocate. But then I guess it would have died to the Radiant Flame. So it's, it's, I would have had to sacrifice some clues first. but. Uh, we have good draws in our deck. That's the end of the, the the end of the day. Push comes to shove. We have good draws in our deck. And uh, like Omnath, yeah. I, I mean, it's like a tough one. Keeping lands for like Omnath and stuff. Like if we draw an Omnath now, we get punished. Gideon is a problem. Our opponent is not dead. I thought the sweeper would be game over, but it looks it looks like they have staged a good fight back with a removal spell in plus creature into Gideon. But uh, we can still attack in here. The force him to jump. There's another land, typical. Uh, I am working it out. I can't block like that, correct? Yeah. So. I'll keep this land in hand. So we have, cre we have creature, sorcery. Yeah, just creature and sorcery. So we didn't, we're not close to delirium yet. But that. Uh, Hope 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 lands. Yeah, 10 lands. So we have 14 left in the deck. So it's like. It's almost a 1 in 3 chance we draw a land. But then I guess with ramp spells, we'll say it was about 1 in 3 chance of drawing a land. But uh, now we can't attack, unfortunately, because he has needle spires. <laughs> Gotta love this game. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna flood out and die most likely here, because now we can start attacking off with Gideon. But uh, we can't attack there because he just double blocks with the two first strikers and kills us. But now he's now he's gaining an advantage. We need like another sweeper slash another another sweeper slash we need to draw into something, come on, we've uh, we've got like three turns to do so. But Magic is a wonderful game and we will see if we can draw into one of our many, many cards that get us out of this situation. Hey! <laughs> and suddenly the salt is dead. Uh, and yeah, now we'll happily attack him because he has to double block. Yeah. So. 
I mean, I was getting a bit tilted there, but Ulamog, Ulamog does what Ulamog does, and if that is show up, and hopefully, I mean, at least, like, even if he goes Declaration Stone on... Uh, even if he goes Declaration Stone on Ulamog, or, like, I don't even know if there's any other Exile, I guess. Angelic Purge would be the worst spell for me, because I don't get anything from it. But uh, even if he does that, then we are stabilised again. And he's Gideon is exiled, which was one of the few cards I could get him back into this. So yeah. I was getting close though, I was getting a bit dicey. Getting a bit of a... bit of a... We, hey, what's it called? It's getting a bit too close for comfort there. We, ha we still had like two or three more turns, assuming he blanked as well. Or at least didn't like draw into another absolute bomb. But uh, we're gonna just... well, it's not actually over yet. P like, we have to attack in, obviously. We're, I mean, we're not even close to... Ca okay, game over. <laughs> we just drew, like, the two best spells off, our, off the top of our deck, just casually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bang. But, uh, that wasn't actually over, because he still had 44 cards in his library, which meant... Uh, two attacks in Ulmog wasn't going to do it, and we were facing a relative pressure on the way back, but... I don't know. I still think I would have attacked in there, and just for the top of my deck and uh, yeah so we did actually end up managing to go 2-1 so that's that's always nice this is red white aggro and uh, yeah so that is Gruel Ramp it's got a lot of new toys we even got a cat cat Cataclysmic Gearhulk game one which was nice but yeah the decks I'm not sure if it's got better but especially with considering how much stronger aggro is now but it definitely has got funner which is always the mo most important thing and uh, on that on that bombshell I will say Thank you guys for watching and I will see you later.